So the weather was getting warm, so I was flying nearby park to get ready for my next quad season. And this happened. Yeah, I crashed. I crashed real hard. The power cut off for one second and it came back. Um, I inspected my quad and it looked fine to me. There wasn't like that much of big physical damage. So I went back to fly again. And then this happened. So it flipped as if motor number one was desyncing. I tested again line of sight and found out that the motor number one desyncs after fast roar. And to confirm it, I touched the motor number one and it was scorching hot. I figured the ESC for motor number one was broken, so I decided to change my ESC. Usually when the crash happens, the motor motors abruptly stop and they release the high voltage surge back to the system and usually it damages flight controller or the ESC. And I figured the ESC was the problem because my flight control controller was completely fine. So I swapped the ESC and after swapping the ESC, I tested the motor by moving it high and low throttle abruptly. And it's hard to hear, but it is still desyncing. So, my second fix I decided to do was the swapping the motor. Still, um, the FC appeared to be fine, so the power distribution board looked looked to be fine because the, it was still outputting 5 and 12 volt output. Of course, the motor can be damaged even though it's not physically damaged. When the quad crashes, it can get overheated when it when it hit the branch, and then it, when it tried to move, it can so it get overheated and damage itself. Or it could have the unseen physical damage that I wasn't able to see. So I swapped the motor and I crossed my fingers and... It's perfectly in sync and working! So for me, the motor was the source of desync, or both ESC and motor because I swapped the both ESC and motor. What if those swapping those components do not work? I will check power distribution board and see if the board or the soldering points are damaged. If, if power distribution board is fine, giving uh, correct BEC power 5 volt or 12 volt, then I will check for flight controller. And I will swap the motor output signal for flight controller to see if signal output is faulty. So for example, in my case, the motor number one was broken. So I would swap the signal output with the motor number three and see if it's still in sync. Or if it's not in sync, then the FC is broken. You might have to swap out the FC or if it has extra um, output for motor, then you can go to CLI and swap it. Um, that's really hard to do and uh, you might have to reference other instructions or forum post. If you find this video helpful, please like this video. And I don't really upgrade, uh, not upgrade, <laughs> update the videos frequently. So, um, but if you are interested, you can still subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much and see you.